Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Let me introduce myself My name is Fatima Zahra And my student ID number is 20201081 And I'm from regular class of Banjarbaru So today I wanna work on a final test for Miss Ratna Before I deliver my speech I wanna say thanks for Miss Ratna To giving me a good chance to deliver this speech about justification so I want to tell you about important things that we have to do and we have to action especially is save our planet so the topic today is especially about planting mangroves and protecting Bekantan before I speak further we know that we live in Indonesia and mainly I am from Kalimantan we have many places which has beauty and diversity or uniqueness in every place which one is Kalimantan in Kalimantan we have many mangrove forests and also the animal who live there the authentic and the endemic species we also see Bukantan I will explain in front all of you that what is Bekantan. Bekantan or in English we say proboscis monkey or nasalis larvatus in Latin language are the endemic animals from Indonesia that inhabit mangroves on the island of Borneo. In Kalimantan, Bekantan is also known as Dutch monkey, Rika, uh, I'm sorry, I mean Pika, Bahara Bentangan, Raseng, and Kahau. And Bekantan are arboreal animals. It mean life in trees, but sometimes they scan to the forest floor for certain reason. Move me, movement from branch to branch is done in various ways for example by jumping hanging or moving with the four limbs bekantan are diurnal primates namely activities carry out from morning to evening bekantan or proboscis monkey consume almost all parts of the plant with a composition which is more than 15% of young leaves and about 14% of the fruit and the rest are flowers and seed so the question is what does keeping bekantan or proboscis monkey have to do with saving our planet bekantan is very sensitive animals and thus animals are very sensitive to changes in the surrounding climate the reduced habitat and the number of proboscis monkey is one sign of the urgency of climate change or climate crisis if we don't plant the mangroves where the bakantan lives bakantan will become extinct more quickly and their bird development will slow down. If mangrove planting is not carried out and rescued, or conservation of Bekantan and the area they live in, it is estimated that this primate will become extinct in the near future. And therefore, I invite us to save Bekantan as a form of saving ourselves from climate change. We can save Bekantan through, destiny, through donation to the foundation like Sahabat Bekantan Indonesia, Greenpeace, or help conserve a plain mangrove in places who you know Bekantan are there. You can also contribute through active social activities to save Bekantan or participate in disseminating information regarding the threat of extinction for Bekantan so that more people are aware the proboscis monkey or Bekantan are in 
danger it. Maybe that's all for my speech today. Thank you so much for your kind attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.